For a time on Wednesday, the road to peace seemed securely closed. Israeli soldiers made the U.S. Consul General wait half an hour outside the West Bank village of Busan before waving him through. Consul Edward Abington was here to make a rare personal gesture, meeting the family of a Palestinian boy allegedly beaten to death this week by a Jewish settler. I'm not here to, uh, to comment on political issues. I've come to, as I said, to, make, to pay my condolences to the Shosha family on the death of a 10-year-old child. But there was a moment for diplomacy. And the United States wants the peace process to succeed so that no children, Palestinian children or Israeli children, will suffer from violence. Later, the diplomatic process moved ahead slightly when Europe's new peace envoy, Spanish ambassador Miguel Angel Moratinos, met Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem. He'll continue Europe's recent initiative for a greater say in the peace process. Ambassador of Denmark.